I mean, this is kind of the food that Wade and I grew up on, you know, being from Texas and going to school in Austin. I was really excited to bring it to L.A. They're two good friends, two good old boys from the Lone Star State, who have brought their culinary skills to the Golden State with Horse Thief Barbecue. Los Angeles is a beautiful city, great weather, a lot of exciting things going on, and especially in downtown east side. I just love all the energy. I love all the new things popping up. I like what's going on in the Arch District. It's uh. It's a vibrant place. Yes, that's right. They decided to open up shop in L.A. even though their home state has fewer regulations and more money available for startups. Their biggest challenge? Finding money. And I started to work on it and write a business plan. And I knew I would raise a certain amount of funds from friends and family. But I was looking into other sources. I looked into SBA loans. There was basically nothing available unless you owned a home that you could borrow against. That there just wasn't any access to capital for, for small businesses, especially people kind of like opening a restaurant for the first time. Does their story sound familiar? It should, because survey after survey, small business owners and entrepreneurs throughout California's regions say the same thing. There are big challenges finding access to capital. One reason is the bigger named banks often aren't helpful. Small businesses really only 25% of them will get financing from a, a bank. The other 75% are getting financing from family and friends and from their own personal investment. And that's just the reality of how it starts with small businesses. And small businesses need to realize that especially if they're going to ask for bank financing, they should be willing to invest some of their own money. Banks expect a small business to invest anywhere from 25 to 33% of their startup costs from their personal savings. Natalie Orta of the Small Business Administration suggests going to a business community lender or to what is called a micro lender. What's crucial to this whole picture really is letting all of our entrepreneurs know about assistance that's out there for free. It's their federal tax dollars at work. For people that can help them put together a loan package, they can help them prepare all the documents necessary to, to see a lender. For small businesses that start without any technical assistance, without any guidance, uh, there's like a 50% to 80% failure rate. However, businesses that get the technical assistance are 80% likely to survive those first couple of years. So that's such a crucial piece to the whole picture. Support for innovators is critical here in California. If the state is going to regain its competitive edge, it will be driven by these types of businesses. You know, small businesses, uh, I think, what drives the economy. So more resources and help that they have, you know, the better for the overall economy. The California Economic Summit, sponsored by California Forward, is helping to reduce barriers to capital. It's one of the signature initiatives the Summit Action Team is working on in order to promote job creation in California's regions. For California Forward, I'm Cheryl Getweza.